Hi, I would just like to first say that I have a little bit of a cold, but I'm going to talk about how I get water, and I'm also going to talk about um, the difference between winter and summer water gathering. I won't tell you where I live. I'll let you guess, and if you can guess, you can leave it in the comments. But in the winter time, um, I don't need as much water as I do in the summer. I have not been full-time van life living in the summer so far, but I have done a lot of camping, so I can tell you a lot about what I do during those times. So, I use stainless steel water bottles, basically. I don't use plastic at this point. Um, I'm, it's an experiment to see how that works, but I'm using stainless steel. Um, I have invested a lot of money because I do a lot of outdoorsy things and I camp and I'm always on the go with the water bottle. So what I have is a gallon stainless steel um, drink tank. I have some of those. I have several large uh, swell bottles. I have several large hydro flask bottles. I always have a stainless steel bottle with me. I don't recommend any one particular brand. Um, they all keep your uh, drinks hot and cold. Um, but I I've always have a water bottle with me. And that's another thing too. When I collect water, no one thinks it's a weird thing because I always have a water bottle with me. And so um, that brings me to my next point. I continuously collect water in small quantities. It doesn't look odd if you are seen in a public place filling up a water bottle at a water fountain, which is what people do all the time. I make sure I take water bottles that are 40 ounces or larger, 64 ounce water bottles, probably the largest that I would use in a public place. Um, once you start, I don't bring my gallon water jugs to like public uh, water fountains because then that looks like you're collecting a bunch of water. But if you have like a large water bottle that you collect your water in, no one even blinks an eye. They just figure you're thirsty, you're collecting your water. The thing is, I don't drink directly from the water bottles that I collect water from. For hygiene purposes, I have water bottles specifically for collecting collecting water bottles specifically for drinking from. Um, that way saliva doesn't get into, you know, the water bottle and it's safe. I don't have to worry about um, bacteria growing in them. So that's an important thing to um, mention. I do wash all of my water bottles. Um, I use the sink at work, but I don't have to wash the ones that I just use to collect the water in as much as I wash the ones that I drink out of on a continuous basis. Here's why I have a cold. I've been outdoors a lot, enjoying the scenery um, in the area where I live. My favorite place to get water and the most reliable place outside of work is the laundry. There's always a sink at the laundromat. Um, I also want to point out um, these are the types of bottles I use when I'm in public places. That's a 32 ounce bottle. Um, and that's usually what I use when I'm collecting water um, just to drink or um, for other purposes in my bottles that I have specifically for collecting. But the laundromat's a great place. There's always a sink there, always. Um, and it doesn't look weird. And that's just the car works if you don't want to go downtown. There's your wrench on this. Uh -huh. That one lock is a good one to ship
As you may have gathered, it is currently quite cold where I am. The daytime temperatures are in the 20s um, to the 30s, and in the nighttime it's like 10, 15 degrees, 13 degrees right now. It's, it hasn't been terribly cold at night. Um, so I don't do a lot of uh, water collecting. I don't keep a lot of water in the van right now. Basically, um, I only keep what I would need to drink. So lately I've been having like maybe 64 ounces of water in the van at a time, um, about what I would drink in a day. Um, two 32 ounce um, bottles or one of my large 64 ounce water bottles. Um, that's what I keep because otherwise um, anything more than that will freeze. In the summertime, however, I keep much more water. Um, I had that experience from camping um, and that water I would use you know for cooking and for uh, washing with and my favorite of all time places to collect water is from natural water sources I like to get water from the glaciers here where I live and because of the physics of the water falling down and the gravity um, it is naturally filtered so all the bacteria and everything is filtered by gravity and there's a little water pipe that's been um, installed because so many people collect the water from that area. Um, you can collect it, it's safe to drink from, you don't have to put iodine or boil it or do anything. Um, because of the gravity um, that's already naturally filtered it, it's safe to drink, it's uh, glacier water. And um, I use that for bathing, for cooking, um, when I'm camping in the summertime. And I'm looking forward to when it gets warmer and I can do that for van life. And that is my all-time favorite way to collect water.